How's it going, everybody? Sage the Collector back with a mega mystery power box. Uh, this is an MJ Holdings repack product, which means you can get them at Meyer, you can get them at Walmart. I've seen a few of these ripped. Obviously, the big chase card is they claim there are MJ rookie cards graded 8.5 or higher, and they say cards plural, which means there are more than one, theoretically. But you just get random packs thrown in there, and uh, every box I've seen, and I've watched a few of these rips, comes with a blister pack with a Kevin Durant rookie in it. But this is a ginormous box, and the cards are literally thrown in here. So, we are going to see what we can find in here. But first, you know what time it is. It's time for a little appetizer mail. I kept it, I kept it short and sweet, hopefully. So we don't uh, take up too much time before we get into our mystery power box. But there's a Spida for my Stargazing Hollow set. And we got a card. <laughs> if I can eventually get into it. Oh, man. Future Legends, Darren Fox, this must have taken a while to get here because I have not purchased one of these in a while. That might be the last one I need to complete my set, so stay tuned to my Instagram page and I will post a picture of all of them together. Ooh, here's a big one. There's a big one. Men of Mastery, Mosaic, Luca. Ooh, baby. Love it. All right, there's another big one. Stargazing, Steph Curry. Nice. We got, what do we got here? Oh, man, we're going way back with this one. We are... <laughs> completing all these sets has got me looking at old sets. And uh, one of my old sets I was half-heartedly going after was the 2019 Optic Fantasy Stars. And here's a big one. LBJ. These are pretty cheap, so that wasn't a huge one off the list, but it's an LBJ nonetheless. Oh, here we go. A few videos ago, I opened up one of these, and I got another one. I think I paid six bucks for this or something crazy. This is a Zach Levine... It's... It's a uh, silver court side. It's 2016, which is kind of like Zach's worst year to collect for because it's his last year as a Timberwolf. So, but still, select silver court side. Zach Levine for six bucks. <laughs> it's just, it's a bizarre year to collect Zach Levine. What do we got here? Ooh, okay. Nothing fancy, but... Zach Levine Red Prism. Very nice. Numbered out of $2.99. It's been a while since I've picked up a rainbow Zach. I might already have this one. It's been so long, I don't even know. But Zach Levine Red Prism. Done. I will pick those up any day of the week. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Another Men of Mastery off the checklist. It's a CP3. Based off who you bought and which team you bought and where you live, I would have to guess you're a Bulls fan. It is the season of giving, so I threw in a couple more cards for you for your PC. Well, there you go. Okay. <laughs> nice. Got a Kobe. Got another Zach. Got a Winter Zach. And here's the card that I bought. So that was super cool of him. I'll have to definitely shoot him a message and thank him. I don't know. Let me take the cards away so you can really see. Got that Emerald Zach Clear Shots. It's very cool. Always happy to have free extra cards. I got a bubble mailer inside a cardboard mailer. Ooh, there we go. And this is feeling thick. I think I remember what this is. This is not only the purple LeBron Splash, but it is, boom, another one. <laughs> another purple My House LeBron. I told you I was done picking them up. Uh, this was the one I thought was going to be my last one, but I lied. I've got another one. So expect one more at least coming in the mail. Last mail day package. 
we got ooh ooh there we go somebody put up two of them in one lot on ebay and i want them for a song card so nice i got it twice so there you go that was our mail day we are now on to our ginormous mega it is truly mega this box i will try and get it on camera so you can see <laughs> how these cards are thrown in here first of all you have the luxurious butcher paper we have jersey authentic jersey and card set that is not a blister pack with a kevin durant rookie so i apparently have gotten the only the only mega power mystery box that has not had a blister pack with a kevin durant rookie in it but we have a 2006 tops i don't know some sort of solo hanger we got uh 2011 i think hoops or 2012 i don't think there is 2011 we got a 94 95 fleer ultra pack and that is mm, oh actually no i was gonna say it's bricked but it might not actually be too bad we got <laughs> these are the promos that are one in five and my god is that miscut look at that Whew. yikes and then we got this bccg nine jordan so i the ones the other ones i've seen have been tens and a nine bcc jordan is basically like it might be worth two bucks <laughs> so nothing uh, too exciting there but we got another pack of hoops and these are the packs that everybody's been uh attempting to open and they are massively bricked and so is this one it is rock rock solid so we got some random cards thrown in here and then we got a little uh, plastic thing so there you go that is how they throw them in there we kind of saw a few of the things that are available in these boxes unfortunately did not get a kevin durant blister pack so that's a shame the only reason i think people are buying these is for that kevin durant and then i watched pac-man's today and he actually pulled a pack of 2018 prism from a blaster box out of here which is the potential to get a lucas silver rookie which is insane but anyway here's our random cards we got a rudy fernandez with a fan t i mean let me get this in the light if i can look at that oh baby mint mint condition <laughs> ridiculous oh they're just taunting me now with two kevin durant 2015 hoops cards we got lebron james uh planting a tree nba cares interesting oh my god a totally destroyed doug mcbuckets i don't know if you can see it in the light but my god that thing is scratched up it's a rookie though <laughs> okay we got a kobe bryant with you know it's this one was one of those ones that was thrown in there so all the corners are ding but it's a kobe we got a look why would they throw these in there i don't understand so you got kds you got lebron's you got kobe's just thrown in there ah i don't get it and there's our mem card <laughs> oh what's his first name brandon yep brandon roy a little jersey patch out of bowman bowman sterling i've never heard of bowman sterling it's a nice card it's got a little slick finish a little jersey patch and then we got hakeem oh they got a pippin dinged dinged and dinged but and i already have it and then we have a scott williams nba jam session if you've never collected these from bef before they're from like 94 95 and they are bigger than normal cards which means anyone who put these in regular penny sleeves or regular nine pocket things back in the back in the 90s they all have dinged corners so they put cards in here with plenty of room look at Get all the room in there why don't you just put the lebrons and the kobe's in there with this crap which is worthless oh i don't know what i don't know what mj's holdings is doing but 
Let's let's blow through what I assume is our pack of nonsense hoops. Got Teague, Powell, Justin James, rookie, Marky, Marcus Morris, Ty Jerome, rookie. Oh, there. Now we're styling. Oh, KPJ. Okay. Never mind. Cool. Cam Johnson. Nice. Darius Garland. Okay, so these aren't all terrible. Romeo. Wow. Lots of rookies. KPJ again. All right, so that wasn't terrible. But again, why not put the <laughs> put the LeBrons in there? Anyway, uh, let's where's our brick pack? Let's get our let's get our brick over and done with. It's 94, 95, so it's really nothing too good in here. But here you go, ready? Let's see if we can get this on on the audio. Oh God! Oh Jesus! <laughs> Yikes! Ah, you can't even get them off without bending them. That's how blue this. <laughs> Antoine Carr is stuck too. Ugh. J.R. Reed, Hersey Hawkins, K.J. Glenn Rice. Oh boy, Ewing. All right, Ewing, who are you stuck to? Vinny Del Negro. <laughs> All right, we got this some sort of... Oh, monumentally sticky Ewing in the middle. Oh, God. <laughs> it was a triple threat Ewing. I think I bent the crap out of it to get it off. Oh, man. Toronto Raptors, some sort of team card. All right. This is this is the most bricked card I've ever seen right here. Hold on, we're we're doing this. I'm not quitting. I'm no quitter. Never give up. Never surrender. This is these are coming apart. Ah, oh, God, I can't even get the corners apart. Oh man, Kevin Gamble. Oh man, no, we're we got a checklist. <laughs> oh baby. All right, that takes the cake for the worst one. Kendall Gill. Oh, my God. It's like somebody dunked these in water. Popeye Jones is stuck, too. <laughs> I, this is riveting, I know. But I can't I can't quit now. I'm actually going to use my fingernails on this one. Ooh, I split a card open. These are like one of those two cards that are perfectly together. Sherman Douglas and Popeye Jones. We got the chief. Okay, we're gonna have to. Oh man. Oh, oh baby. These are going straight in the trash. Nate McMillan. <laughs> and finally, we're not even gonna pull them up. No, no, no. I said I wasn't gonna quit. I said I wasn't gonna quit. Okay, there we go. Victory. Victory is mine. All right, see this? Every, all right, hold on. Listen. That was me throwing them in the trash. Okay, 94 and 95 Fleer Ultra. Let's uh, let's hope for a lot less bricking. Okay, these aren't actually too bad. Got a double trouble of the Admiral. Shout out to Spurs cards. Got a little uh, Loy Vaught. Slightly stuck to Vlade. Got a Robert Pack. Tyrone Corbin. Mark Price, Joe Dumars, Sherman Douglas, stuck to Harvey. All right, so these are not bad at all. Got a Sir Charles. Got a Tim Perry. Elmore Spencer. And an Anthony Peeler. And finally, Dikembe. So, nothing uh, too exciting in that pack. We'll put the admiral on top there all right here we go these could have some good rookies lots of future hall of famers in this uh not only rookie class but rookie set because they combined the 2011 and 2012 rookies so we got landry fields cory mcgetty we got this rajan rondo sideways card action photos kyle lowry uh, nope. Shelvin Mack, and then this something rather. All right, so nothing uh, too exciting there. We got 
CP3. And that's Tristan Thompson. I believe this is a rookie. Yep, Tristan Thompson rookie. Then we got one of these Dirk action photos. Goran Dragic. Uh, not a rookie. Ennis Cantor. Now Ennis Freedom. And then there. Uh, so nothing doing in that box at all. Sorry, Lamelo. I didn't know I bumped you there. So <laughs> just, let's look at this thing again. Let's let's pull this out. I like how they put it in a mag. Look at this. Look at how crooked that card is. My God, I can cut better with scissors and my eyes closed. Wow. Well, you get, uh, I got a free mag out of it, I guess. But <laughs> I don't even know, like these were the, maybe the highlights. And that was pretty sad. So yeah, definitely not worth picking up. I did not get a uh, Jordan rookie. I did not get a pack of 2018 prism and I did not get a blister pack with a Kevin Durant rookie. So that was a total bust. So beware if you're thinking about picking one of these up, you could get a box like this. I forgot I put these two things off to the side. Totally forgot about our 2006, 2007 tops, solo, something, whatever this is. Got a Joel Pris Prisbilla. Got a Steve Blake. Chris Wilcox. Paul Pierce. Jermaine O'Neal, Drew Gooden, and Mike Miller. So, nothing doing there. And then we got this authentic jersey and card set. I don't know what this is. It's like an envelope stuck in here. Let me try and open this up without totally damaging this. Authentic memorabilia set. There we go. So this is like glued on there for something for some reason. It's like this is a greeting card envelope. Interesting. And our authentic jersey is a Nick Van Exel. So they just put a card with a little cardboard mat in this. Oh, you could little. It's a little uh, tripod stand. You can put this on your desk. And dream about the 90, uh, 99 95 that uh, you spent on this stupid mystery box. <laughs> There's the little jersey. Oh, my God. This was totally ridiculous. So, yeah, like I said about three minutes ago, be warned that you could get a box like this for $100. And, my God, I would like my $100 back. I paid $106 for the mystery box because it seemed like you were at least guaranteed a Kevin Durant rookie. However, as I proved, that is definitely not the case. <laughs> the cards I got were worth maybe six bucks, let's say. So that might have been the worst box I've ever opened. I guess on the bright side, my next box will definitely be better. Well, that'll do it for this break. If you enjoyed watching me rip the crap out of those bricked 94, 95 Fleer cards, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time for another Basketball Break.